Five, a vandalism trend in Salina targeting sculptures. The latest happening over the weekend. Salina police say vandals broke the tennis racket off of this sculpture of a tennis player. Cakes Ben Jordan explains what the pieces of art mean to the city. For 11 months out of the year, downtown Salina is decorated with 26 unique sculptures from all over the nation. But the sculpture that won this year's People Choice Award is no longer here after it was vandalized over the weekend. The sculpture tour lines a three block stretch of downtown. Art form at its best, if you ask me. A point of pride for residents. I think it adds a flair of a little bit bigger city than what it is. We really enjoy them. The best part is it's not like going to a museum. You can walk up, you can look at it, you can touch it. But that was taken too far on Saturday night. Sad, I have to say, I, I can't imagine that why it happened. A bronze piece of a tennis player no longer has a racket in hand. Uh, whether somebody was, uh, you know, messing around, whether they sat on it, stood on it, whatever caused it to break. The good news is it was left next to the sculpture and can be replaced. But this reminds the city of what happened a few years ago. We had one piece that was uh, removed from the pedestal a couple years ago. Um, it was late at night, um, I think after some bars had closed. It was returned after a few days, but two months later. It was starting to wear a little bit. We contacted her and sent that back to her. Three damaged sculptures in three years time. We do ask people if you're, you know, to be respectful of it, you know, if you're around it. And, and uh, you know, we ask that you not damage it. But unlike many other sculptures that come and go, the city will give next up a second chance. It will once again be out in public as it was the overwhelming favorite of the year. I'd like to see it stay here, no doubt. Yeah. In Salina, Ben Jordan, Cake News. And the city of Salina is paying $15,000 for the sculpture. Once it's fixed, it will be placed in Oakdale Park.